Now what you're looking at right now is the iPhone 17 Pro Max recording in 4K ProRes log format. This is the best way to extract the most amount of dynamic range, as well as give you the most control in post-production. Now we're also shooting with my Canon R8 with a 24 millimeter lens, so it should be quite equivalent. We're shooting in its C-Log3 422 H.265 format, uh, which it actually can't shoot ProRes or even RAW. So actually the uh, iPhone is actually a little bit more capable in terms of video Kodak and flexibility compared to my main dedicated camera. But what I want to do is actually do a basic uh, Rec. 709 color space transform through DaVinci Resolve. We're going to basically grade uh, both images as close as possible. Uh, but basically, if you're doing a deep depth of field shot like this, where you have uh, a high f-stop and you want to get a lot of things in focus with a wide angle lens, do you really need a dedicated camera? And I really don't think so. I think the iPhone image is certainly quite capable for those types of shots. Now, if you're doing a more shallow depth of field stuff where you need control over your lenses and things like that, that is a whole nother story. But I want to basically compare the overall skin tones, dynamic range uh, from the foreground to the background. Do you think that the iPhone 17 Pro Max actually looks better than the Canon R8 or any dedicated camera in this kind of uh, budget friendly a dedicated camera space or uh, do you still think that there's a place for real cameras love to know what you guys think and uh, let me know in the comment section down below